morning. This is Bug Eyes. We are on Empyreon Galactic Survival, a cr the creative mode. Uh, I, I've i been away for a while. I've had some sound issues on my computer that my tech, my son, uh, Squirrels, was able to come over and finally fix for me, uh, along with some video issues. And I figured to get back into Empyreon, I would uh, kind of put down everything that I've built and give you a quick overview of what I've been doing. Um, uh, I didn't put everything down, but uh, I started out building some SVs way back when, and they were just horrendous. I mean, this thing, it flies good, but, I mean, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even put that in there. This is my first version of my Bugwing uh, that I currently use. I don't actually use this one, but I use a, a better version of it. Uh, this was just, okay, that's just ugly. Um, this was the SX2 Bugwing. SX3 bugwing, which I had to redo because of Alpha 9. You can't be, you can't come out of the rear of the cockpit anymore. It brings you out of the toward the front of it, which means you're stuck inside the blocks. So I had to change this. So the S, uh, the SX3 and 4, and all the way up through the rest of these, I had to change. Um, but this was this one here, the SX5 bugwing was pretty cool, kind of like an X-wing look to it uh, from the rear. Uh, pretty good. It was pretty cool. Uh, over here are my two warp drive engines. I don't think this one has a warp drive now. Um, uh, but these two are pretty good. But again, I had to change them up because uh, you just can't use them anymore in Alpha 9. Um, so over here, I decided now my bug flyer. I built a bug flyer to get around really quick, easy, very inexpensive. Let me show you real quick. Uh, this is very inexpensive to bring in. Uh, there's no cobalt in there because there's no constructor. Now uh, you add a constructor and it's 34 cobalt, I believe, something like that. But it's relatively inexpensive to make uh, for a flyer. Uh, it is uh, unlock level seven, um, but yeah, so it's a good little flyer to bring in. Inexpensive. Uh, I also made a, and I'm going to skip over these for now. I made a hover uh, also to bring in early. Uh, the H. T3 hovercraft. This is very inexpensive. It's an open cockpit, excuse me. If we take a look at this. Um, oh, no, okay. I guess I gotta get the pilot seat. Uh, it's very inexpensive. Uh, carbon substrate is most of it. It is an unlock level 5. Okay, it has uh, enough carrying stuff on it uh, because it has a harvesting one. At, 21, 20, at 2172, and it has a regular container. So it can hold quite a bit of stuff. It, it will move fully loaded. I mean, most of this stuff is made with the extension. Uh, some of them have steel blocks, but some of the inner ones are... Con uh, oh, no, these are all, all steel on the outside. So, But it can hold quite a bit for a hover vessel. Um, and then we move into uh, some SVs here. Let's take a look at these SVs here. This um, this isn't look that great of one. I called it the the bug ray because if you look at it from above, it kind of looks like a stingray. Okay, you kind of tell the eyes right there, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's it's an open cockpit, but it has the door to get into it. It will fly fully loaded. Um, it has. Uh, holding it has a couple of regular cargo boxes okay but it has a container controller of 4700 and it will fly fully loaded at 4700 you got to take off kind of slow and easy but it will fly once you get up you just got to keep it up uh, it does not have a constructor in it because again i, I take the constructor out for for the uh, price of it the price on this isn't that bad either it's relatively inexpensive um, but I brought this in to be able to carry my stuff around. Um, and after I made this, that's when I made the hover vessel to do the same, which is a lot easier to get around in that. Um, because I like the bug flyer a little bit better. The bug flyer that I've got here, uh, it, it's, it doesn't hold a whole lot, okay? But it does get around a lot better and, uh, to kind of scout out the area, see what's around. All right, but now my other SVs, I converted the uh, the SX1 to the SX9 bug wing. It is converted. 
It does have the updated cockpit. It is, and a uh, the cockpit is also armored cockpit. And it, you are able to get in and out without an issue. You can also see you have a little bit of peripheral vision in there. It has really good statistics for it. Uh, 35 forward, 16 reverse, 21 up, 16 all the others. And the pitch and the roll are pretty good also. Um, the container controller in there isn't that big. It's only 1125, but again, it's more of a fighter bird than anything else. You don't want to do other stuff in this thing. It is definitely a fighter. Oh, I didn't. Uh, it is definitely a fighter, though. It has far, five RCSs. It flies really well. Um, I like this one a lot. Uh, I'll take it for a little test drive. Uh, yeah. Take it for a little test drive here. Lifts off really well, does barrel rolls well, and if when you're doing a barrel roll, you stop and go back the other way, it does it relatively quickly, okay? You can stay, stay right there, it won't fall down on you if you're going down. You can lift up relatively quickly, do some strafing, and it goes side to side really well. You roll on the level off. Side to side, pretty good. I mean, it stops and goes back the other way. Pretty good, all right? It was one of my better SVs that I've built. This is strictly a fighter. Uh, it's not gonna carry a whole lot of payload, but you can get around and bring a little bit if you're doing some mining in space. Um, cost. Of this one, um, uh, not too bad. The Satheum is 185, but you can get that just from mining uh, some of the aircrafts on the planet. Uh, the reason it doesn't have a whole lot of anything else is because of the armory on it. It has room for stuff. I'll shut it off. It has room for the items, but right now it currently has just the Gatling guns on there. Uh, when I get more. Uh, Material, I'll replace the Gatling guns with uh, rail guns, and the missile launchers go in there, four miss missile launchers. Um, that's that's one, of my, my, one of my favorite builds right there. The SX-9 Bugwing. You can find it on um, in public mode in the workshop, along with these other ones. The SX-9 Bugwing. I said, sorry, the SXW-9 Bugwing. This is basically the same. It has a warp drive in it right behind there. It is for single player, which is where the S comes from for me. Single player X9. That means only one seat in there. Uh, SXW9 is warp drive, bug wing, and the, the same thing. It has the armored. Uh, this one is fully loaded with the rail guns. I think it's rail guns. Yeah, the rail guns and the missile launchers. Uh, it has the warp drive in there. It has oxygen on one side and the armor locker on the other, so you can get at it without having to actually go inside. I do have a dry model of this, um, which is over here, which just has the Gatling guns on there instead. Um, the difference in price is without the Gatling guns and still having the warp drive, uh, it's not too bad. The uh, most is the Satium 325 and the iron at 556, so it's not too bad anyway. Um, difference between the SXW9 and the PXW9. This is the PXW9. Has, the only difference is the same aircraft. Strictly is the same air aircraft. The only difference is I add a little bit onto the back to add two passenger seats so that you, it can be brought in in multiplayer. And uh, the passenger seats are enclosed um, so they're not too bad. You know, if you get passengers in there, you just have to be aware that you don't want to get fired at from behind. You want to make sure that you outrun your folks which you can do. I'll uh, give it a quick test drive. Lifts off really well. It has decent side to side. Again, you know, strafing in this, this is, it's a fighter warp drive type engine with passenger seats. It does take off pretty good. Turns good. Uh, the roll is decent. And it stops pretty quickly, just like the fighter does. 
There we go. And land this puppy. There we go. Shut it off. Uh, like I said, the price isn't too bad on it. Uh, it is unlock level 10. And that's because it has Gatling guns with the other one, the PXW9 with all the... Oh, that's the SX. The PXW9 with all the stuff on it, okay. It, it, it'll, you add in the Aristrum, the Neodymium, and Zescosium. Which is quite a bit because of the weapons that are on there. You have to have that. Which is why I would save them both. I have I have it this, the same thing as dry. So that the dry means for me that it only has the Gatling guns on there. Alright, now. Uh, my digging tools here. I have the LX9 bug. I have the level 20 version. And I have the level 10 version with the regular drills on it. And they're saved just like that to level 10 and level 20. Um, they are converted. I have them converted over to Alpha 9. They are both the same. At level 10, the cost is, again, not that bad. I, I try to keep the cost down on these things as much as I can. It does not have the armor plating. It has regular metal on it, uh, which is why it's so in, uh, it's not too bad for the expense-wise. It has, But it has the, uh, the regular drills on it at level 10. The other one, because it has the big drills on it, level 20. Okay, level 20, and of course you have to add the Zescosium, Neodymium, Ristrum, and, and additional Cobalt there. Um, but that's an unlock level 20. As far as materials that it'll hold, I only have on it... Oh, no, not Hover Engines. Harvest, Harvest, there we go. I have a harvest container controller because you can put everything into the harvest anyway. And it can hold 5875. It has plenty of motors on it. Um, as we can tell in the stats, you're going to have plenty of uh, push forward and back. I try going straight down into a hole and I back straight up out of the hole and it works just fine. Um, that's with both type of drills. It works out really well. So uh, I will be bringing this in in my game. For sure, it has the um, the turret goes down inside so that if you're mining, you just drop the turret down, uh, just gauge the turret so that you can just do your regular mining and not have to worry about the turret getting top up, caught up top. These are all the other ones that I had built in, I had I was building, but they're not converted over to the nine, which is why I did this one. I wanted to convert one of my drilling babies into a uh, alpha nine so that I could use it. I had this mega miner that I had built, but again, it's not converted over, and you can't have this many miners on here. I have like 20 miners on here, and you can't have that many on there anymore. You can only have six, uh, so you can't. I can't really use that one. But at the time, though, it was working out really good, especially with 20 miners on it, 21 miners on it. And I built the mega marauder. Okay, the mega marauder. This is my masterpiece for tanks. Okay. Uh, I fixed it for 9, and then I realized that you could put the turrets inside. I didn't realize it at the time. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. You can put it inside. I um, also did some uh, adjustments. I mean, this thing is perfect for 9. It has the one pilot seat. Uh, I, it is confirmed that I can put two additional seats behind here. They do fit uh, and without any problems whatsoever. Uh, what was the passenger seat? There they are. There we go. You can fit two passenger seats perfect, and there's no problem with uh, getting in and out of them. Let me take my god mode off. Uh, get in and out. You get right there on the side. You can move up and down. There's nothing that gets in the way. Same thing with the back one. If you get in the back one. Get out without a problem. The door is automatic. It opens up. There's no issues whatsoever. You have three additional containers right here. You have the uh, home chamber, the med bay right here. 
get everything you need in this thing and it is let me tell you it is packed okay um go back to god mode a minute here i mean look how many layers you have here you got layers and then you have that you have another layer and then another layer another layer and then you have your <laughs> your guns out here and you have all this up front i have never lost a fight with this thing okay unless something got bugged i have not lost a fight with this thing when it's fully loaded um now i don't play pvp so let me get that out there i pay, play pve so the fights that i'm getting into are strictly against the xerex uh but this puppy has not lost a fight okay because you can always go back and get it repaired uh, i have the harvesters on there so that in, in the event that you're going through a thick forest you just turn those harvesters on and you're good to go so this is this is my pride and joy as far as vehicles are concerned that one and the bug wings uh, the, the most recent bug wings with the warp drive and then the uh, SX-9. Now, buildings. Okay, I, I do have a few buildings that I've converted over to uh, Alpha 9. I have this three building um, hut set up here, um, which I kind of like, actually. Uh, each one has its, has a purpose. Uh, this is the actual one, the actual, you know, living quarters one. Okay, this is where you would put your furnace in here. The furnace goes here. The deconstructor goes over here. These are the con can container controllers for each one. The container controller for the furnace. Okay, and then the container controller for, I mean, for the deconstructor, the container controller for the, for here. And it holds quite a bit, 104,000. You're not gonna overdo that. This one here is 120,000 so you're not going to overdo that you have your weapon your ammo for your base right here 96,000 and then your container controller for the rest of the base 200,000 you're not going to overload these things you know I've got a couple of extra you know I, I, I like putting my regular ammo in there you know weapons and ammo in there and other stuff in there maybe fuel and then a small, it comes with a small constructor right off the bat so that you can make stuff right with the small constructor. And the small constructor has its own container controller in case you want to do individual stuff in here. You just do it in there yourself, you know. This is just a door going out. Okay, there's no farm in this one because I got the farm in the other one. Okay, right here I got a big garage. For it'll fit the uh, Marauder in here without any issue and drive in drive out and it has extra door for other hovers that you have going on this is a spot for a um, repair bay if you want and you can put the repair station anywhere you know over here if you want um, and then this is the individual farm okay I decided to make an individual farm which is where this is um, Oh, that's just a fueling station okay but individual farm right here with a small constructor if you wanted to bring this in first get the small constructor it'll set your st stuff up without any issues i decided to make some modulated type buildings uh so that you know a little fun i mean because you can only have so many solar panels per building so i figured hey well why not just make it modular make three different modular modules um and then i made this this is the bug hanger with a farm uh, the mar Marauder will fit in there, a smaller vehicle will fit in here, you have three parking spots on top, four SVs, um, I do have it saved without the furnace, um, I have it saved without the furnace, uh, or the deconstructor because it's a whole lot cheaper like that, I have them in here just for show, but, um, the farm is over here because by the time you make this you're gonna ha have world plus anyway you can always take these out and resave it but uh it's a little bit different i mean you got your med bay down here okay and then up top is where your, all your living stuff is you know two constructors will go in here this is currently just a regular constructor but you got a spot for two constructors some individual boxes in here and then you have your uh container controller here i like to actually show the container controller i know you don't need to but i like to just show it it holds 216 um and then you have your con container controls up here for the furnace and for the deconstructor okay but again i have it saved without those two okay and the price without those two 
uh, isn't too bad. It has a 1,200 Sathium almost and a lot of stone dust and almost 1,500 iron ingots. The reason for this and all the stone dust and everything is 20 steel plots, um, Aristrium and Zescosium. Oh, let me, let me take these out real quick. Make sure I have the right. Oh. And out. There we go. Now let's see what the price shows on there. Okay, still shows Aristrium, uh, Zescosium, uh, because of the weapons that are here currently. Okay. Oh no! Wait a minute. All right, let's take this out. It had I put on here just to show you where I put it. I'm gonna take that out. Take this out. And now let's see what the price is. All right, that's a lot better. Okay. Yeah, it takes that. It takes that right out. But the reason for the this much sath sathium, sorry, that much sathium is the outside of this thing is made with combat steel okay and then the inside okay is armored concrete uh i don't know if you'd be able to take this and put this down on a pvp planet i don't know i don't play pvp but you can put definitely put this down on a hostile planet you know a vol volcano planet uh, uh without much of an issue it has plenty of defense on it uh which is the plan of why i built this i'm going to put it on uh a uh hazardous planet uh with a lot of hazardous life on it so that it can be protected while i'm working and ga gathering a bunch of resources and once it's down it's down whether or not i actually use the farm in this i don't know but i kind of like the modular setup um i just do I, I i like having my farm separate i can have solar panels on all three without having to worry about them uh the other thing i built that i almost forgot about is uh there we go a wall spawn now also what i've done is on all my spawns it's out away from me a little bit is that red line down there that's that's just regular concrete and what that does that kind of helps me determine where the bottom is without having to guess sometimes that way you can tell you know just in case and then as you're putting it down you see okay well it's going down it's going down and all right well i want to cover it a little bit more if i want to like that or bring it back up a little bit there we go and you set it down right there um the reason i built this is when you first get to a place you're trying to figure out you know what's going on wh which way the drones are going to come from well you put this wall up first and this wall is going to shoot from both directions and then if you want you can always take the other side of the the weapons off and you know put them down somewhere else it has in it Okay. A container controller and a small constructor. Um, the reason for the small constructor is that small constructor okay, can make whatever ammo it needs. Uh, because the only ammo we need for this is 15 millimeter rounds and projectile rounds. Okay, and this container controller is an ammo container controller, so you can put it right straight into it. You put Material in there build with it and you have your wall this which is why I've only put on here uh, minigun turrets and the personnel turrets they're just minigun turrets for that reason so that small constructor can make the materials for all of this and the minigun turrets I mean there's three up top and then you know the two underneath along with the other ones I mean it's plenty to take out any drones that are coming by and then you can put down whatever house you want to put down if you want to put your house right behind it the on the opposite side of where it's coming then you can take the other machine guns off take the machine guns off the house you know you're building or build yourself and then you won't have much of a problem but uh yeah that is the those are pretty much the items that i will be using in my uh uh in my games as i get started here i am going to start a um uh a game here shortly this will probably be the end of this episode so hey i appreciate you guys watching and i hope you continue to watch as i use these items that i've just shown you on my my hovers my uh bug wings my marauder and my buildings and uh hey i hope to see you back thanks for watching i appreciate you guys and sorry i've been away for a while but i got everything fixed now and hopefully i'll be back for you know, some time to come you guys have a wonderful day this is bug eyes
RNB signing off. Bye bye.